Lawrence Hill right behind me here. The helicopter pad, uh, we can fire artillery right nearby. Small arms right right there. It's just, it, we just, we got everything here. It's a, it's a great place to be. It's a hop, skip, and a jump out the, the gate to San Clemente. And, uh, and you're, uh, you're out in society, too. Um, I'm having the same challenge as the chaplain did with, with height, but I think the, the sound is good. So, um, let me say, first of all, that, uh, that uh, I thank God I woke up this morning, and, uh, and I mean that uh, because I have another day to serve, to serve him and, uh, and to serve my fellow man. Um, and particularly to serve uh, my family in the Marine Corps, really my family. Um, so I'm thankful for that. I want to recognize uh, just a couple of people, and, and I mentioned Father Capadano. I don't know if uh, it's hard to say, Chaplain, if there is a greater example of, of honor and selflessness and sacrifice than Father Capadano, who gave his life shielding uh, a brother Marine under fire after he had been wounded earlier in the day. Um, and he gave his life uh, protecting that man with his very own body. And so uh, I can never go by the chapel without thinking of him, and I think of him all the time. Yeah, he's, a, he's an extraordinary um, member of the regiment. He was uh, the chaplain for 3-5, uh, and there's a wonderful book written about him called Grunt Padre. So if you haven't read it, I'd encourage you to look it up. Uh, the Marines used to just wait for the helicopter to land and uh, Padre Capadano to get out and come down and, and talk to them and, and perform a mass in the field, and he never missed. Um, uh, we have uh, Jim and Carla Hogan with us today. Uh, uh, the Hogan's uh, son, Donald, the, the, the most impressive uh, structure on the base, that high rise with the best uh, view for our infantrymen when they're out of the field uh, is, is here named after their son Donald who gave his life uh, serving his nation um, and his brother Marines in 1-5 out in Afghanistan, Nawa area. And uh, the Hogans have been extraordinary uh, parents and uh, Jim's father, uh, like uh, Colonel Candelarios was a, a Marine, career Marine. He, he was a three-war veteran, um, and I think he, he might have lost a stripe or two over his career as well, um, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so, you know, Donald's uh, granddad was, uh, was a Marine. Uh, Carla just received the uh, Champion of the Community Award. Uh, for San Clemente for 2015, and she's a, the, the Hogan's have a Socks for Heroes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful charity that sends socks to our boys and gals out there overseas, wherever they may be, and it's been a wonderful thing to watch that grow, and I've seen so many pictures of Marines holding up their socks <laughs> out there, and I've seen the, the socks when Sar Major and I went out to, uh, to my last trip to Iraq. Uh, we saw a Socks for Heroes box out there. Congratulations to you. Car Carla, you're our, you're our mom. You know, you're a champion of the community, but you're our mom. And both of you are moms and dads, mom and dad for all of us here and, and the division. I, uh, long preamble, we have the MEFSAR Major. Colonel Candelario is the acting Grizzly Six. You're Grizzly Six. And uh, thank you for having us uh, and for hosting this here. Um, the best part of this, uh, to me, is the fact that we have so many veterans aboard, and particularly our Vietnam men. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Pete Hammer, uh, Commandant of the South Coast Detachment of the Marine Corps League, Flying Leatherneck, uh, is, uh, is, is uh, you know, I have to recognize him, he's my Commandant. And uh, if I keep going down the line, Steve and Jim uh, and Ken, I, I, could, I could talk for, uh, I'll be getting the flag to, to sit down. But we didn't have this. Um, I've said it before, for you, for you young men out there in the audience, men and women, 
you know, this generation, thank God, uh, you know, we all, we have things like this. Um, and uh, you can wear your uniform in town. And people will, you know, buy you a meal, buy you a drink, tell you thank you, um, and honor you, and respect you. And uh, the men, uh, and some women, but, but a lot of the men that went out and, uh, and, and fought for, uh, for country and poor, God country and poor, in Vietnam didn't have that when they came home. And it took many years for this. And I think principally because of your generation, our generation, and I'm kind of on the back end of that myself as an old guy, but uh, thank God uh, that we, we don't have that in this country. No matter what your politics is, for the war, not, whatever, for the wars, um, and I'm not going to get off on that uh, tangent, but uh, just thank God the country has embraced us and what we do um, for them, for all of us. And so with that, I think I have nearly spoken my piece. <laughs> How does it go? First to fight for right and freedom and to keep our honor clean. We are proud to claim the title of United States Marine. It is in our hymn. It is what we are, what we are all about. Our motto, Semper Fidelis, always faithful. Loyalty, faithfulness, trust. You know, men and women that you trust your very life to. Men like Donald, who waved his brothers away from him when he saw a bomb that put all of them at risk and gave his life. Men like the man who is going to follow me, Brad Castle. And every bit Brad Chris Marquez and Dan Schaffner next to him, who set their weapons down and carried this severely wounded man, who still has his pistol in his hand, ready to go, out of that house, under fire. I'm going to leave this up here. You know, where do we find men like that and women? Where do we find them? They're right here. They're right here today. And thank God, generation after generation since the birth of our nation, we have found people who are willing, who are willing to demonstrate the honor, the courage, and the commitment to be faithful, to be faithful to their God, to be faithful to their country, to their core, to their brother and sister Marines, to their families. Thank God for that. Because I think that defines what this group is here to celebrate. We just have had just enough men and women willing to raise their right hand and swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all of her enemies, both foreign and domestic. So I am very honored to have had a moment or two, I haven't gotten flagged yet, but I know I'm, I'm about there, to, uh, to speak today. And I couldn't have been more honored for, uh, in a few days, I'll have a bit over 34 years as my ID card changes um, to another color, um, to have served, and it's particularly to have served in this regiment, and to have worn the French Fourgere. You lucky bastards. Yeah. Lucky, lucky sons of bitches. Thank you very much for uh, for allowing me to speak. Uh, God bless you all. Semper Fidelis. And this is my cross from my retirement ceremony. And so I brought it today with me. God bless you.
Sir Major Castle, I don't know if, uh, if I introduced you already, sir. I, I believe that I did. Uh, our MEP Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Brad Castle, the real McCoy.